Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A. And today I thought I'd talk to you about the Kat Von D palette that just came out fairly recently. This is called the Saint and Sinner palette and it's an eye palette. It is shaped like a church window, a stained glass window. And on the back you have all of the colors listed. And I'm actually wearing these colors on my eyes almost every color I think this was the only color these two colors are the only two I didn't use in this particular eye look so um, I had a lot of fun with this particular side now I don't know why she segregated out Saint from Sinner in the color pattern she did because a lot of these colors I think are quite um, saint like you know, and some of the saint side colors I think are quite sinner like, so I'm not sure how she categorized them. But on this side, we have the um, saint side, and you could see, let me just cover it up a little bit so you can see them a little better. So I did an eye look with just um, this side here, the saint side, and then I did one with just this side here, which is this particular eye look right here. I had a lot of fun with this. This was fun. Um, now the two mirrors, uh, half mirrors on each side, you can see what your face looks like on the side. You can see like a peripheral vision thing going on. They do fold back so you can stand this upright or um, they do fold together so you can lay it flat. Thusly. <laughs> So, now this is the sinner and this is the saint, and it looks like the saint is more subdued, uh, muted versions of what's up here, and these have a few more uh, interesting colors, I guess you could say, this lime green and bright yellow. Um, I'm not a fan of the bright yellow. The, the lime green was kind of fun, and I do have both on, but uh, it's not a color I would turn to every day. And down in here, a lot of silver things going on here. The uh, This particular one called Heaven is a very silvery looking one. I guess silver lining on the clouds. This one's awfully pretty. It's called Cathedral. If you can see that. Beautiful. And then there's one up here which is Absolution. Now there um, there is a mat here and that is called Amen, right here. And then you have this kind of uh, pinkish color, which is called Baptism, which is kind of cute. I did not use this. Well, let me just try it in here. Let's see what happens. Well, it's a pretty powerful light color. It mutes down, mutes down those yellows a little bit, which is nice. Now I had fun. Now I'm 59 years old, so of course I probably would not use a lot of these shades the way a lot of the younger gals would. Um, I don't want to look like a disco ball or Lola at the uh, Copacabana. <laughs> um, so first what I'm going to do is show you the Saint side and what I did with that with an eye look. The makeup that I used for the rest of my face um, for the Saint side. I used the MAC Paint Prot in um, Ochre, which is painterly paint pot in Ochre. Uh, this is the Skin Fix Lemon Mint Lip Conditioner. I used the Urban Decay Optical Illusion uh, Face Primer. Hourglass. Mood Exposure, and I love these. They came out with the little mini ones that are individually sold. They're $20, $22 at Sephora. Uh, this is Mood Exposure, which is my favorite uh, blush. Uh, for my face makeup, I did use Chanel uh, Vita Lumiere Aqua. And I did use... My Fenty Contour, which is Amber, it's a beautiful shade. It's a perfect contour shade for Fish Belly White Girls. And I also used this, which is Tristique, which is a, uh, it's a slight highlighter stick. 
really, really nice. I like this. I use this actually, um, I use the, um, this and this with the uh, sinful face also. Um, now, I've, I've noticed with a lot of other palettes, like the Fenty, the new Fenty limited edition Christmas release for the Galaxy, they had to use another palette to make a base eye first, and then they added all the Fenty colors to it. So, likewise, with this particular palette, I felt the need to add from this one. We'll call this Purgatory palette, okay? This is, I had to use um, just a, two shades from this. Um, I like to use this light shade here, which is just a matte base, and I like to use either this shade here or this shade here for my crease color, because I think a matte crease color is a very good base to start with. And those are the only shades I used from here because I like to um, have a matte base first, and then I played around with the colors. Some of the gals from the Fenty line, they were like making three quarters of their eye with some other palette, and then they'd bring the Fenty palette out and put one little thing of glitter on their eyelid, and I'm like, that's not a, a review. <laughs> anyway, so I did use this uh, shade and light eye palette, which is, I think it's a standard everybody should have in their collection. Um, I use that for the base for both looks. Uh, for eyebrows, I did use uh, the Anastasia Brow Wiz in uh, blonde. And I did use for my lips for the Saint palette, I used the uh, Katie. Uh, Rimmel number 45 and I'll, over the top I use the Rimmel uh, Glam, Go Glam I think it is, lip gloss over the top of that so I had those for my lip and then I use over the top of that J. Manuel and this was called Halo from J. Manuel so I use those three on my lips for the Saint uh, demonstration. For mascara, this is the um, the Twisted Lash from MAC. It's a great little, great little uh, mascara. And so, let's talk about sainthood. This is the saint side of the Kat Von D palette, and this is the eye look I created. Okay, this is the flat out basic, just nothing on my face look, and we're starting off with the shade and light palette. This is the um, basic matte eyeshadow palette that she has in her collection and I'm actually using the light shade there uh, just to do a light matte base and I thought that it would be uh, a nice start for the eye look I know it's not part of the Saint and Sinner palette but I wanted to just use something I'm familiar with for the base light shade and that just kind of evens out my eyes and lids uh, for a more even look so that the shadow will go on nicer. And now I'm also going to do a crease color from this palette and this is the uh, color on the end here. This is the cool palette I believe. And I'm just putting a little bit in the center uh, in the just above the crease on each side with a small pencil brush and I will be blending that out in a moment but I just wanted to get the base color down This color is called Latinus, and I'm just using a fluffy Real Techniques brush to sort of uh, shear it out, or it's all in the schmear, as my husband says. And this is from the Shade and Light palette. And again, I'm just laying down a base eye uh, that I can work from there and add fun colors and make a different look from there. but. I think this is a basic eye that everybody needs to have for a start for their eye look. 
It is a standalone palette, the Shade and Light palette, but that's not what we're reviewing today. So as soon as I get this straightened out, we will proceed to the Saint and Sinner palette. There we go. Such a beautiful design on this one. Alrighty, now I'm trying to decide which color I want to use first. Now I'm just using this side. I've got to show you that 12 different ways. Okay. I'm going to start off with Sacred Heart, which is kind of a nice uh, light kind of warm tone there. I'm just putting it in the 10 and 2 section of the uh, transition area of m above my crease and it just gives a little bit of a warmer look to the uh, to the whole eye look it's very subtle and it just looks like a little bit of a sunburn it's very natural looking that's a fancy halo huh okay we're going into now amen which is a matte white whitish ivory color. I'm just putting it on the inner corner just to brighten that up and uh, you know it is awfully dark in the center there and we like to lighten that up. Now I'm going to go into this very top shade here. It's very glittery. It's called Absolution and it's pretty much pure glitter. There's a little bit of a light pale blue essence there. Just sharing out a little bit of the fallout on my cheeks. Are you getting dizzy yet? My goodness, I didn't realize. Okay, this one is called Sanctuary, and I really like this shade. It's kind of a deep uh, satiny purple shade. And I'm just putting it on the edge with a small brush, and I will smear that out a little bit later. There we go. Whoops. Okay. Well, these things happen. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of fallout with the uh, satiny shade there. I'm going into just the last outer third with it with a small pencil brush, and then I will fluff it out a little bit later with a larger brush. And I'm just kind of adding to both sides to even it out. Wow, look at that fallout on my cheeks. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, we're going into that green shade, which is called Immaculate. And I'm putting that in the color bar area, which is the center part of my lid. Just kind of blending it outward to it. Going down into that lower shimmery shade called Cathedral. That's awfully pretty, and I'm putting that in my color bar area, which is uh, just a stripe down the center of my eyelid. I really like that color a lot. And I'm going to go over my bottom uh, lower rim there with the, uh, the same shade, the cathedral shade. Um, my husband is coming in and is making me laugh. Okay. This is Heaven. I just touched it there on the very peak of just underneath my eyebrow. That is Heaven, it's called. A little bit of a shimmer there. Getting real close. <laughs> okay, let's look at that palette one more time. looking at what brush I'm going to use here. Okay. All right. We're going to curl the lashes. Use a little bit. Uh, this is MAC. I think it's the Twisted Mascara. It's quite a nice mascara, actually. I think I got mine at Nordstrom Rack. It was on sale. Adjusting the camera here a little bit so you can see me a little bit closer up. Doing those lower lashes, um, some people say that older ladies should not do their lower lashes because it can make your um, eyes look a little bit smaller and closed in, but 
little Shirley MacLaine action going on there. I'm going to do the other side. And what I do is I do both sides and then I go in with a Q-tip and clean up any spatters or blotches, uh, dings that I may have made. I'm um, kind of a sloppy mascara user. This is a pretty good standalone mascara. Um, gives you very full, long lashes, and it lasts all day. It doesn't leave dings on your lids. And it's pretty good. And I think I bought it at Nordstrom Rack. It might have been around five or six dollars. I'm sure its regular price is probably in the twenties. Okay. So now I'm looking in a ten by mirror, and I'm using a Q-tip, and I'm just going in to clean up any um, unevenness any fallout, any mascara dings. Q-tips are your best friend, and a 10 by mirror is also. And there's the angelic looking saint side to the Kat Von D palette. I purposely um, kept my makeup a little bit simpler and my lipstick was a little simpler for the <laughs> saint look. So now let's have a look at the center side. And um, again, I did use this for the base of the center, which was just the two. Uh, for my face makeup, I did change to the Harman Face Values BB Cream, which I absolutely love. And I did change out my blush for my RCMA blush here. This is that blush palette I got at Sephora. And the blush that I'm wearing is this one here. Really nice. And I am using the Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D. And the lipstick is actually a Revlon lipstick. It is called HD Romance. So without further ado, let us have a look at the center side of Kat Von D's eye palette. Okay, freshly washed face and here is the center side. Now I'm starting off with the shade and light palette, of course, doing the same basic thing. I'm going to use that larger size one. I think it's Ludwig. Let me just check here. Ludwig. And then I will be using um, Latimus again and a little bit of Side Tree. Sighty, sighty. <laughs> Just getting a basic eye. I'm putting on a little bit heavier uh, for the base because we are doing a slightly more dramatic look for the sinner side. I would think sinners would have a slightly more dramatic look. Okay. And I'm just kind of swishing it in and blending it in. Blending really is key when you're putting eye makeup on so it doesn't look sloppy, it doesn't look too harsh, and um, it's uncomfortable, I think, for some people to blend as much as they really should. Okay, we're going into the center side of the Saint and Sinner palette, opening it up here and having a look at all of the colors. And where do I begin? And I'm just kind of cleaning out my, I call it eye snot. <laughs> cleaning out old mascara and stuff out of the center of my eye. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to take some of the shade Stigmata. And that's kind of a, a warm shade. I'm putting it up in the corner and I am blending it with my fingers. And that gives kind of a warm transition to the uh, base look that I put down on the crease. And I'm using some of the dark shade of purple. It's called Exorcism. And I think, you know, when I am old, I will wear purple. And this is a beautiful shade. It actually um, looks really nice 
especially on mature faces. And I'm blending it out, blending the heck out of it so it looks more even and more smooth along the edges using a fluffy brush. And I am cleaning my brushes in between. Now I'm going to go into black and it's very unusual for me to, to use a black. This is the Sabbath um, <laughs> color. And I'm actually, because again we're doing a dramatic smoky look, I'm going into the black and just carefully kind of smooshing it around. And I'm using a kind of a fluffier brush to bring it just above the crease. I'm going above. I have a little bit of a hood there. And most women um, of a certain age do wind up getting hooded eyes because their eyeballs sink into their uh, sockets a little further as we age. And so we get that overhang. And so to compensate for that, we tend to draw the darker shade just over the top of it so it gives the optical illusion that it's not quite so sunken. Now I'm going into the center there with the um, Rapture color. It's a very pretty glitter, purpley, magenta color. It doesn't show up as extreme uh, here as it is in the palette. It's very nice. I don't use a glitter uh, base glue like from Too Faced. They have a glitter glue. Okay, we're going into Martyr now. Actually, we're going into Ashes now, and that's really a pretty color. It's kind of a brown with a pale green glitter in it. And we're going into the um, Exodus, which is a lime green with sparkle, gold sparkle. This is not a real flattering color on probably most people, but I just wanted to give it a try because I am doing the sinner side, and sinners tend to try things, whether or not it's good for them. <laughs> All right, so I'm going into that yellow too, which is a gold. It's called um, Relic. And now I'm going into Revelation, which is a, a beautiful brown bronze. And I'm going over my whole outer lid with it over the top of some of the other colors. And it's actually kind of smoking out the whole eye and blending. You could still see remnants of some of the other colors. Using a fan brush to take off some of the excess fallout there. Yep, and there I go. I'm, this is the center side. I'm licking my <laughs> brush and going into uh, Revelation again, and I'm going to line underneath my eyes. I think shadow makes the prettiest eyeliner, and actually you should use water or eye drops to do that with, not your spit. But I just thought, I, just for effect, I would do the center thing and uh, lick that. This collection is staying in my um, personal um, vanity, so I'm not going to be giving this away. So <laughs> now I'm just using a little bit of that um, devil color to go on the edge just to warm it up. And I went to have pizza. I'm back. I have fixed my lipstick. And now we're going to continue on. Fixing the horns, fixing my hair. Yep, husband bought me a pizza after he saw my devil makeup. See, it works. My sinner makeup. Okay, let's get back to business here. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm just going to put a light coating of the same mascara on I had for the Saint palette. Just a light coating so that my lashes aren't really pale against the false lashes I'm going to be adding in. Now I like to use Ardell number 135s or 110s. I think those those two numbers are really good, especially for mature ladies. And there's also the demi ones, which are partials. You know, they're not, they don't go all the way across your eye. They're just kind of the outer eye and give you a little cat eye flick. So uh, what I like to do, it's, it's the Merle Norman method. And this is uh, where you actually take the glue. And there I am adjusting the, uh, so it'll be a little bit closer. I'm actually drawing the glue onto my eye lid directly and it warms it up quickly and then I just place the lashes over the top of it and it actually works much better for me this way. I think it's a, a fabulous way to put false eyelashes on. Now I don't do this often. I don't wear false lashes often because, um, well, I just don't, you know, I don't need to have a, the party look every day. 
I wouldn't recommend doing it every day either because at the end of the evening when you pull the lashes off, you have a lot of layered lash glue on your eyelid and that has to be taken off with something special. Well, this is attractive looking at my horns and uh, I just pressed them in there on the end. And you can see they went on pretty well. They dry fairly quickly. I'm going to do the other side the same way. Hopefully you can see me this time. I'm not below camera line. There we go. You can see me adding the glue to my lid. I'm looking in a small uh, handheld mirror there just below camera. And I'm using Kiss Strip Lash Glue. I really like that one. It's, it's a brush on glue. And I'm putting the um, partial lash on just the outer half of my lashes. And I think it's very attractive to do that, especially with older faces. It's not too overpowering. Here I go. Ba bop. Ba bam. <laughs> and I press it down. It often sticks to my hand when I'm doing this. Nothing's ever perfect. One eye always goes on easier than the other. Any of you who have attempted false lashes know this. Now, I like to um, make it look um, more even and natural, so I do take um, Kat Von D's Trooper Tattoo Liner, and I draw a quick line. You're supposed to shake it up. I don't know if everybody does, but I think it lasts longer if you do. And I'm just drawing a little bit of a line. And the joy of this eyeliner is that you can control it. It doesn't flay out or... Um, it's not messy, and you can control it. can do a very thin line, and uh, it works really well over the top of lashes and things. And I'm just doing a couple little bits here and there, making fake lashes on the bottom line and also uh, on the top where I'm missing lashes. I'm just kind of filling in there. Same thing on the other side. I am drawing in a line over the top of the lashes to kind of meld them in with my own lashes and I'm just kind of tapping in a couple of fake lashes on the lower line so that it looks um, fairly natural. It's amazing what we have to do to look fairly natural. <laughs> yep. And then after this whole process I will have a look in a 10 by mirror just to make sure everything's cleaned up and brushed off and nice. So there we go. How cool, huh? This is the center side. And now I'm going to just fix my makeup that I messed up with the glue. Putting a little bit more of that black there in the corner just to kind of um, fix it up. I always mess up my eye makeup when I put false lashes on. So here we are. Almost done. And this is the center side. So the center girl got the pizza. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little demo with the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. It's actually going to stay in my collection. I really like a lot of the colors in here, and I've played with them a little bit and tried different things and worked them in with other palettes, and I think it's pretty versatile. This is definitely gift worthy stuff. I really like it. There is a little bit of um, fallout, especially from the glitter shades. I do have pink fallout on my cheeks, but it actually works with that center thing. And uh, my husband liked this look better than the other look. So <laughs> he came out and, and bursted out laughing uh, when I had the halo on. And then when I had this on, he was like, hmm. <laughs> So anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.